Boy was born into the family of a music teacher by the name William Carey Wright in Massachusetts. It was recorded that while his mother was still pregnant with him, she declared that her son would build beautiful buildings. And so, when he was born, she decorated his room with engravings of an English cathedral. When he was older, she bought a set of building blocks for her son to play with. And he would do this for hours and hours. Everything worked well for some time until this family started to battle with financial crisis. And this led to a strain between the right parents. His once happy family bond broke down beyond repair. And this led to his parents' divorce. And he never saw his father again after that time. Frank Lloyd Wright faced the future without a father. This affected his identity as he later changed his middle name to bear his mother's family name, Lloyd, instead of Lincoln. Wright finished high school but did not take a degree and he continued to work on his fine art pieces while also learning under a professor of civil engineering. Wright left school in search of a job in Chicago and he got hired as a draftsman with an architectural firm run by Joseph Lyman Silsby. Wright learned the art of designing architectural pieces, working on different projects. But at some point, he was dissatisfied with his little earnings at the firm. So he decided to work elsewhere. Wright rose to become head draftsman, designing for another firm called Adler & Sullivan much later. And now apart from designing, Wright wanted to do more by actually building structures. But his new firm did not really give him time for that aspect of his passion. Down the line, he got fired for doing a side hustle. And then Wright decided to start his own practice. And that led to his designs of several great schools, offices, hotels, churches, museum, architectural pieces, you name it. Today, Frank Lloyd Wright is known as one of the fathers of urban architectural development in America. Frank Lloyd went to design over 1,000 great architectural structures which were built to adapt to the environment and nature. Lloyd got his childhood dreams from his mother and he kept to that all his life. What are your childhood dreams? For most people, as they grow up, they give up on life and their dreams. This is because of the nature of the world we live in. There is so much negativism in our world. Everyone wants you to take it easy. Everyone wants you to play it safe. Everyone wants you to avoid risks. Everyone wants you to follow a tested path and do what everyone is doing. Unfortunately, if you do what everyone is doing, you'll get the result everyone is getting. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, and I quote, do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Remember, when you were a child, you had all these lofty dreams. You wanted to change the world. You wanted to achieve greatness. You wanted to do the impossible. But as you grew up, the society is unconsciously warning you against your dreams. You were told that if you start a business, that you'll fail. And that's true. You were warned that if you pursue your own dreams as an employee, you may be fired from your job. And that's true. But there's one thing that is true. And that is, if you don't give up after failing, then you'll succeed. Wake up yourself and remember your childhood dreams. Stop listening to those who discourage you. You think about this. The reason why people tell you that you can't achieve anything is because they themselves cannot achieve anything. Mark Twain said, and I quote, Keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that. But the really great make you feel that you too can become great. Keep away from people who think you can't achieve your dreams. Make friends with positive and ambitious people. These people will drive you hard. They will force you to be a better individual. They will challenge you to be the best you could always be. If Frank Lloyd Wright had given up when he was going through, he would have been crushed by the world around him. But he decided to fight for his dream. And that's why history remembers him till this day. John Barrymore said, a man is not old until regret takes the place of dreams. And in the words of C.S. Lewis, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream today. So, my friend, 
Dream a new dream today. Did you like this video? Then subscribe to our channel for daily inspiration and share this video with your friends who may like it. Look at your screen now to see other interesting videos we handpicked for you. We love you.